لسه في رحلة البرتغال واليوم في مدينة سنترا بالتحديد وهي من أجمل مدن البرتغال خصوصا لمحبي التصوير زي أنا طبعا وخصوصا لوجود كمية كبيرة من التراث العالمي بس في المدينة دي وطبيعتها الخلابة لأنها بتجذب السياح العالم أنهم يجوا يصوروا المناظر الجميلة Welcome to Portugal, people! أهلا بكم في مملكة البرتغال الملك ميكو يكمل جولته في البرتغال في مدينة سنترا بالتحديد والنهاردة معايا أجوستو جاي وريني سنترا ومهمة للبرتغاليين نفسهم البرتغاليين في الصيف بيجوا هنا وهم بنوا سنترا أصلا عشان قالوا أن سنترا بعيدة شوية تحس كده إيه براحة كده نفسية فحتى البرتغاليين نفسهم بيعتبروا المكان ده بالنسبة لهم مكان مقدس Well, we are at the Queen's throne. The so the Queen used to sit here, the throne, back exactly. in the days. Exactly. Wow. We are talking about 150 years ago, we used to have the Queen, uh, lady-in-waiting, and some of our monarchs enjoying the gorgeous views over their summer palace. We know that this, is, uh, this palace is one of their favorite palaces they, they ever built. The garden and the palace, they are um, elements that they are intimately connected. One thing without the other, it just simply doesn't exist. It doesn't make any sense. So um, we know that they love the, the gardens and they really want to be impressed in the gardens. So that's why they create uh, the thrones, the temples, the statues we can find along the gardens. When I was working with you, you told me it could take actually 10 hours to, or more to just go through all the garden. How big it is? Exactly. We're talking about 60 hectares of property. So it takes us a full day uh, if you want to see all the main highlights we have in the park for sure. How did the Queen like go from here to there? Uh, she was carried usually. She never walked. Okay. Or in very rare situations she Nobody's was Nobody's coming to carry me? No. Yes, we better go. It's okay, man. It's okay. No. I'll see you in the palace. <laughs> uh, we are at Pina, uh, Pina Palace Park uh, and we are ready for a walk. My goodness, and uh, tell me, is that man made? Uh, that uh, man made, made Exactly. Forest? All the garden we can see here behind us, surrounding us, this is a man made uh, garden. Uh, despite looking uh, spontaneous, it's exactly a romantic garden intention. They will create this twisty, regular paths. They will create uh, somehow a confusing garden because that way you will feel lost. And when you are lost, you uh, naturally increase your senses. So you will feel more the natural elements. That's exactly what we pretend, what we so want with the romantic garden. We're in the right place. Exactly, Fantastic. with the right person. Let's climb. Let you are the right person. Let's, <laughs> Let's climb, go. man. <laughs> so right here we can find the Chinese magnolias and this is the flooring That's season. That's the Chinese. Exactly. We have pink and white beautiful magnolias and we are approaching springtime. This is a perfect time of the year to visit Sintra. Uh, it gets so colorful, the weather it's improving, uh, the temperature it's really really pleasant at the moment. This is a real Sintra experience. And this is the pink one. Yes. White magnolia, pink magnolia. Let me get the pink. They are just beautiful flowers. Amazing. And even in the photos they look fantastic. You can see the palace from here. Yes, we can and mostly of the travelers, they go straight up, but we will do it different. We are the special ones. And we are going through the garden. I've got my Portuguese friend. To see some of the secrets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
في رموز كتيره سابوها الناس اللي بنوها واكيد ما دام في رموز اكيد الرموز بترمز الى شيء والنهارده انا راح اكتشف الرموز دي بترمز الى ايه وبتحكي انه حكايه Who's that? It's a good point. It's something that really catch the eye, isn't it? Yeah. Um, because it's exactly what they want with a romantic garden. They will create this beautiful, exotic park, and they will add elements that they will surprise you. They will amaze you once you are walking Attraction. through the garden. Exactly. They will catch your eye, and the Columns Temple, the giant. Um, is a representation of a medieval warrior. He's actually looking at Pinna Palace, protecting it every single day. Now you're feeling like a real king. I feel king. like a real king now, coming to his castle. So tell me about this castle, why, why is here? Well, uh, this was built by King Ferdinand II in the 1800s. Actually, it took 12 years to be built, and it was built as a summer house. That's the simple reason. It's actually quite extraordinary having this uh, big size palace and used only as a summer, summer. house. Um, we're talking about three very distinct styles. Uh, King Ferdinand, he wants to create something unique, and he actually did, he, he rebuilt. He, he rebuilt the old monastery we had before, increasing two more parts. We have Neo-Gothic, neo, neo manuelin and Neo-Arabic styles combined in one single palace. All together. Exactly. My goodness, so he brought all the culture in, in one place. Yeah, it's very much the characteristics of Romanticism period. Uh, in Sintra, we can find the ex libris of Romanticism period. It's also classified by UNESCO as World Heritage of Humanity, and wow. it's also inside the, na the natural park of Sintra Cascais. So it's highly protected by law. My um, goodness. A national treasure, uh, absolutely. Wow! Do you see all of this? I see all of these heads and all of these flowers right there and behind. But tell me about the gate, man. Why it looks like this? Uh, this is the Arabic portal. It's connecting the garden into the palace. But it's much more than that. On top of this horseshoe um, uh, arch, we have a hand telling us that we have to stop. Okay. Under or beneath the hand, we have three camellias representing the open-minded. So we need to have, or at least we should have, this open-minded to deserve the entrance. If we have it, we'll receive the keys for the entrance. So let's have the key. Of course, let's, let's get go. the key. Where is the key? Oh, we can't have the key. Right here we can find the main entrance, the crown on top, it's signaling a royal palace. Uh, we actually find a big variety of, of elements. Uh, we can find the crocodiles, lions, snakes. They're very much the gargoyles of yeah. Pena Palace, the protectors yeah, of Pena Palace. Yeah, I could see the crocodile down there, and I've seen a lot like tigers and different animals, and the soldier as well. <laughs> Oh, we were right there. Can you see the Queen's throne? The big set of boulders right there? Yeah. Oh my God, that's my throne. It, it's your throne. On top, high cross. Highest peak in Sintra. 529 meters. We made such a trip. Beautiful, gorgeous panoramic views. Uh, and wait to see the wall walk. Okay. Was it? Where? Yes, three, 360 degrees panoramic view. Okay, let's do it. A 
Actually, uh, the word Pena, Pena Palace, means big rock because the palace was attached on the top of the rocks. We can see Lisbon uh, from here. We drove all the way through the Greater Lisbon, all the way up here. You can see all the big residential area where we have the three million people, three million Portuguese three. people. Wow. So I can see even the bridge from here, to be honest. The bridge is too small, it's too tiny. I don't know if the camera can get it or not, but I can see it from here. This is amazing. Yes, we can see the 25th of April bridge, the suspension bridge. So do you think the king was looking from that palace over Lisbon as well? Yes, and uh, we, uh, we also know that one of his favorite view is the views over the Moorish castle. Uh, actually, his window is that one right there, the one facing the Moorish uh, castle. That's is correct. The, the Moorish, I think it um, goes back to the Muslims when they were here. Exactly. And that's why they call it, you guys, Portuguese, call the Muslim at uh, this time Moorish, yeah? That's correct. Uh, the Moorish castle was built 1,000 years ago by the Moorish people. Um, they all occupied this area between the 7th and uh, 11th century. So they left um, some influence behind and that's a very good example actually. So I, I need to take a picture. Yeah, it's so lovely. So what is the Moorish castle used for? Uh, protection. Um, comparing the two different constructions, we have the castle, it was built um, with a defense purpose, 100%. Pena Palace, in another hand, was built as a place for fun. Oh, wow, so we're in a fun place. Yes, absolutely. Historical fun place. From here, now on, oh, wow. no stopping. Let's go to the palace. Too good, too beautiful. The history here is amazing, and the mosaic again. So Beautiful was, collection. It was a luxury hotel. Of stained glass, right there we really put the pieces together. We have the Virgin Mary signaling the Christian country uh, that Portugal is. We have St. George signaling the Christian reconquest. We have King Manuel I, lower the bottom side, left side. Left. Actually, he's holding the monastery in his hands, remember? Yeah. The monastery was built uh, prior to Pena Palace, and that's King Manuel I that orders the construction of the monastery. As a result of Vasco da Gama arriving in the harbor for the first time uh, coming from India, he was so surprised that he thought, that, oh, this is a sign, I have to do something here, and he did. Uh, we had the monastery, and we are inside the original chapel from the original monastery that survived the earthquake. I can't believe it. Do you know why the why? beds, they're so short? Why? Because they used to sleep sitting up. They don't sleep totally lying down because who does that are the dead people. Oh. This is the Arabic room and we have here a painting technique that creates this visual illusion. Um, it's a French painting technique, Trop d'Oil. Creates this 3D. Th th that like, oh, I can see faces Three-dimensional. Why the king would have like an Arabic room? Uh, because Romanticism period is the revivalism of uh, many different styles. So we can find Neo-Arabic, Neo-Gothic, neo manualing neo neo So they will recreate styles we had in the past. This is a beautiful room. Wow. This ceiling, yes, the, this ceiling, it's very beautiful. 
and has this vestalis, this floral decoration, um, is in the ceiling, is in the chandelier, is in the walls, and actually if we look through the window, we will see nature again, and here we get this perfect harmony combination. أحلى مكان تاخد منه صور تطلع هنا على العالي وتاخد الكاسر كده كلها بمنظرها And where are we now? Now we are at Quinta da Rigalaira. Quinta da Rigalaira. Well pronounced by I'm the way. I'm Portuguese man, thank you. <laughs> And what is Quinta da Rigalaira? Uh, Quinta da Rigalaira is um, also an excellent example of Romanticism period. Uh, eccentricity, uh, it's a very good word to describe this property because more than the garden, the gorgeous views, we have something really special. Okay. I, uh, we are talking about the initiation well and we are about to take it. اهلا بكم في البير اللي عمر ما كان بير بمعنى اصح بير عمر ما كان فيه ميه والسبب في بنائه هي طقوس احتفاليه وهي ترمز الى رحله في عقلق الباطن اما بتنزل 27 متر في الظلام بتفقد الامل ولكن عندما تجد الكهوف بترمز الى ان مهما كان الظلام ستجد مخرجا واو كده ال well finished now we go to the cave come up وتجد الكهوف والتي ترمز إلى أن مهما كان الظلام ستجد مخرجا والثقة في أن هذه الحجارة ستقودك إلى الجهة الأخرى. We took the initiation well and all of a sudden we are in Thailand. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything's gonna be okay. Oh Everything's yeah. Everything's gonna be all right. Man, one of the best experience of you. all my entire life put together, and the life after. You should, you should try. To be honest, I was here. You should try 100%. <laughs> Don't waste your life. We did it. That was amazing! I loved every minute. I was when I saw the well online, I never knew there is a cave, a getaway cave. And the concept, it just had me like, you know, I, um, I had goosebumps thinking about the concept and subconscious going and after every end and the stepping stone. What you told me about the stepping stone is amazing. Like, even after when you go, go down, there is always an exit. Look for it. Don't you think? Yes. And that's what I love. Man, I, I love being Portuguese, you know? Very good. I think I'm going to be, for the rest of the week, very Portuguese. I think so too. Ah. About the tower, why is it so famous? Well, it was built uh, at the same time as Geronimo's monastery, and it has the Manuelin style. Okay. We call it Manuelin because this started during the reign of King Manuel. So, this tower. Why is it so famous? Why is it so important? Because everybody says, go to the Belém Tower, go to the Belém Tower. Why, why is it so important? Well, uh, Belém Tower, it's definitely um, a monument with a lot of symbolism. Uh, especially due to the Manuelin style, we can find elements intimately related with our history and the architecture. Uh, but more than that, it was the control tower to protect the uh, city of Lisbon 
uh, during uh, centuries actually up against the pirates attacks mainly okay. it's hard to believe but we can imagine pirates entering in this stuary area and trying to uh, invade Lisbon so in terms of defense was extremely important that way 500 years ago That site, the tower of Belém, is World Heritage, and the Pena Palace as well is a World Heritage. That's correct. So today I've seen two World Heritage in the same time. Exactly. In the same day. Uh, so now in Lisbon, your hometown, mm -hmm. how many do you have in Lisbon, and how many do you have in Portugal in general? Uh, well, uh, not far away from here, we have Geronimo's Monastery. It was also classified World Heritage of Humanity. It was okay. actually the same time. Um, as Belém Tower. Um, we have, we do have planned a few more World Heritage sites uh, tomorrow. Batalha Monastery, for example. Not far from here, uh, Pena Palace and actually Old Sintra classified as World Heritage oh. sites. So we don't really have to drive that much. Uh, one hour, one hour and a half driving, we can easily reach five different uh, yeah, I, was monuments. I was surprised today to go from city, from Lisbon to Sintra and it just only took us less than one hour really or, or by the car. So it's, it's quite amazing that you can commute in the whole country like that. I'm honestly speechless, thank you so much, mucho obrigado. And I'm still gonna go to Nazareth tomorrow, but it was amazing being with you. Hermão. Thank you very much for everything. Sem,